Hi guys, today we are going to be learning how to do some salt paintings. So the materials you're going to need for this are probably a pencil, you're going to need some white glue, you're going to need salt, you're going to need paintbrushes with water, and either watercolors or you could use food coloring. I don't have any food coloring right now, so I'm going to be using watercolors, but you can be using food coloring and I'll talk about that a little bit more when we get to it, okay? So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of paper or a piece of cardboard, really any surface that you can be drawing on, and really lightly you're going to draw out an image. I just happen to write my name in bubble letters, but you could be drawing a picture, writing out any saying that you want, but I think it would help if you did draw it out first. So once you have that done, then we're going to take our Elmer's glue and we're actually going to trace all of our pencil lines. tray if you have one. If you don't have one, not needed, but I'm just going to try and be a little bit cleaner about mine. Once you have your tray underneath, I'm then going to cover it with salt, okay? I'm going to pour some in my hand and I'm really going to be covering it. Now that it's covered in salt, you're just gonna shake it off a little bit. I'm gonna move my tray out of the way. And now this is where our watercolors come in hand. Remember, if you don't have watercolors, you definitely, definitely can be using um, food coloring as well, okay? So if you're using food coloring, instead of obviously using a paintbrush, you're just going to dip your colors right into the salt. But if you're using watercolors, get your paint to come alive with some of that water. And then you are just going to brush it into that salt. I'm more kind of like just dabbing it in. Um, and that is just kind of helping so that I don't get a ton of salt on my paintbrush. When I switch colors, I'm just going to rinse and pick up a new color.
you are done with your watercolor or your, oops, I forgot a spot. Once you're done with your watercolor or your food coloring, then you're just gonna let it dry. Have fun.